I know. Can you go tell them to come here and listen? No, no. can you come here, bud? Okay. Take notes. So when Jesus tells us, you know, be nice to your neighbor, he doesn't just say that and walk away, right? He actually mm -hmm. practices. Who was really mean to Jesus? Do you guys remember? Who were the guys in the big robes and the big hats? Mm -hmm. They were very rich. They knew the Old Testament really well. Everybody mm -hmm. respected them. They were kind of mean. Mm -hmm. Who were they? The Pharisees. The Pharisees, that's right. So when he, they were mean to Jesus, what do you think Jesus did? Was he mean back to them? Absolutely. No. He was not only mean, but he kept explaining to them over and over and over what he was trying to teach everybody. He's very patient and very loving, so he was setting an example. So when Jesus starts his ministry and meets John the Baptist, and he wants to get baptized, here is the Son of God, closest person to the Father ever walked in the face of the earth, and he has to get baptized? He didn't have to, but what was he doing? He was setting a uh, so today, as you guys get baptized, you're not being saved. God's not coming into your heart. That's already happened. What you're doing is everybody around you. This is a pretty big canal. you got homes over there, homes over there. And we're going to have some people watching. You're telling all those people that you've made a decision to accept Jesus. And the way you're going to show everybody, just like I wear a wedding ring to show everybody that I'm married to Miss Jessica, you're going to go underwater and come back up after I ask you two questions. Point. Hope your math is good because one of them is a numbers question. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> what else? Never mind. Never mind. Do you guys understand what baptism is now? Yes. It's a symbol, just like a wedding. That's what the best way when my pastor explained it to me when I was about 14 or so. He said, Look at my wedding ring. It's a symbol that I'm married. If I take it off, I'm still married. Back on, I'm still married. Like it tells everybody the decision I've made to marry my wife. Today, you guys doing that? Being baptized right in front of your house? You're showing everybody else the decision you've made. It's like holding a big flag saying, Hey, I accepted Jesus into my heart, guys. And it's an obedience thing for us, too. Because Jesus doesn't tell us how to live, right? What does he actually expect? For us to do it, right? Remember the armor of God we talked about at Fun Summer Night? He doesn't just tell us about the armor of God through Paul. He actually wants us to use it. The sword and the shield and the breastplate of righteousness and the home of the salvation. He wants us to use those things so we can live out Thank you, the example of Christ to others. Well, let me pray for you guys real quick. And then if you guys are ready, we can begin. Do you guys have any other questions? I know. Okay, no, there's no more questions. <laughs> well, let's pray real quick. You guys ready? <laughs> All right, let's bow our heads and close our eyes. Jesus, thank you so much for this opportunity you've given to all of us today, God. This beautiful day, surrounded by everything you've created. God, I pray that you would just make this a really special moment for the kids that are getting baptized today, God. I pray that it would be meaningful, that they would look back years later and think of the sim symbolism that it had. Where they told all their neighbors and everybody else looking that they love you and they want to follow you and they believe that you saved them, God. And that is a powerful statement to me through the act of baptism. Pray that you would give them the strength and the wisdom they need to live for you, God, every day. To use your armor every day. And not to ever let the enemy discourage us and tell us that we're not good enough. Because the word says God loves us no matter what. When we tell him we're sorry, when we make things right, it's over. He forgives and forgets. So I pray that we would take hold of those promises as we live our life for you, God, and, and we present you in everything we do in school, in our homes, and on the playground, with our friends, family, strangers, anywhere we go, anything we do, we want to be a shining example that represents you, God, just like you would be on this earth. We pray this in your son's name. Amen. Amen.